What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. And um, I see my kids maybe like four times a week. Okay. I see them a lot, uh, pretty often. And, Shout out um, to him. She's trying to take my kids and move off to Florida. Okay. And y'all know I'm not, I'm not going for that. All right. Did she tell you why? Looking like a lot lizard. Shots fired! Shots fired! Goodness gracious. Why she was trying to move to Florida? Because she just wanted to live her best life. She said that? That's what it is. She wanted to go to the beach, drink coconut balls or whatever they have out there in Florida and just, just have her best life. This guy looks like he has his stuff together. Why did he blow his cheese in this chick? You don't want her to move to Florida. No, ma'am. All right. And oh, you want your God, child. God, she's bad. Support reduced as a result if she does move? Or well, do you just want it reduced just because? I just want it reduced just because. Okay, got it. I feel like I'm, I know dudes that don't see their kids ever and they not on child support. I see my kids multiple times through the week and I'm paying $880 a month. Okay. Dang. Fair enough. Well, I think that tells you everything you need to know about his, uh, his view of relationships is very transactional. Oh, yeah. Isn't it ironic how the person who wants an increase in child support so she can fund her lifestyle in Florida is saying he has the transactional view on relationships. I love it. While at the same time trying to take away the father's ability to see his kids. Yeah, okay. it's very much a, a Get it I do this and you do that and um, I think the fact that he didn't even bother to mention our children's names should tell you everything about our relationship. Well, he, he told me the ages. Yeah, well, that's great. What? Um, Robert and Madison, that's with a Y. But she didn't ask for the kid. Okay, yeah, uh, I get oh. it. Um, anyway, so um, going back- I can't to see why he left her. <laughs> She was very level-headed. The eyeshadow to me, the the sleeve tat, the multiple piercings in the nose, the bull nose ring. I mean, like the bull nose ring. Like, what is there not to like? You evidently, I'm just going to Florida for a permanent vacation. Um, I'm actually going for a job. All right. So, so what's that job? Robert and <laughs> less talking, more listening. Um, and you do the same thing. All right. Now, <laughs> Jesus. So. I'm taking the kids to Florida because I have a greater job opportunity. Okay. And it's great that he thinks that, um, that he's paying for the right to see his kids um, and that there are people who don't pay child support and, and who see their kids a whole lot, Judge. That tells you everything you need to know about the transactional nature of relationships to Mr. Morris. So. Does she Look, seem like a bitter woman? Let me know in the comments. Does she seem bitter to you? The, the fact of the matter is, I guess he doesn't realize that his children are going to need to eat, whether they live in Texas or they live in Florida. And That's they're gonna, true. And they're going to need new tennis shoes and new clothes. <laughs> and I guess he just thinks that kid, like money goes on trees or that, that, that kids just eat for free. It's not how it works. This isn't TGI Fridays. <laughs> It is crazy that she thinks she can take her kids over a thousand miles away, causing the father to not be able to see his kids, then still demand an increase in child wow, support. Me, so his, his opinion that $880 is too much for the kids is wrong. It is a wrong opinion. Oh. Hmm. So, so opinions can be wrong now. I'm getting educated. Some hurt feelings there. Okay, I understand. So. Have you already moved to Florida or is this something that you're intending on doing pretty soon? Well, I, I took the job offer and I've already found an apartment. So the answer is yes. You pretty much already... Everything but the U-Haul, Your Honor. Okay. So in your court order, do you have a geographic restriction because dad lives here? Yes, but he moved just outside of Stupid. of Ellis County, so he's just outside of the geographic restriction, so it's technically lifted, Your Honor. She just said because he moved just outside of a certain county, she can now move over 1,300 miles across the country, demand a increase in child support, and make it extremely difficult for him to see his kids. Wild, bro. Okay, and technically, is what you said, but is that what your court order says? 
Well, the court order says Dallas and contiguous <laughs> counties, and he moved like a mile on the on the other <laughs> side of the Ellis County line. Okay, and I do have a copy of your court order here, and it doesn't mention that it's automatically lifted. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, I was just thinking always, it was the one that always right. Stupid. Thank you, Your Honor. Always Thank right. You. What? I'm sorry. Always right. Um, because you can't just leave. You you can't just do that. You you actually have to ask permission to modify this order, like he did. <laughs> well, can I modify the order to move to Florida? <laughs> um, did you file anything to for today? I mean, I. It's a yes or no. Um, no. no. <laughs> okay. You didn't. So you're moving without asking the court, can you move? And dad is still living here. Well, I guess I just didn't understand the way the order was written. Cause I had, I had heard that if he moved outside of where it said, then I could move out. Who did you hear that from? Did you Google? You, you, you did one of those Google searches? Um, one of the Google lawyers told you that. Um, yeah. <laughs> if she wants to move to Florida so bad, just give the man custody so she can go to the beach while he can still continue to spend time with his kids. Instead, she wants to take his kids away from him and increase the child support exactly to fund her to lifestyle. Oh, okay. Because they told you wrong, and that's the problem with Googling everything. You should have actually consulted with an attorney who would have interpreted this order properly to you. You can't just move. So let me tell you what we're going to do, because I think it, this is the fair thing to do. Regardless to whether you say his visits are inconsistent, he say they're consistent, the reality of it is, is when you move to Florida, he can no longer have access to those kids. So even if he were coming this day, this day, this day, and did every weekend, he won't be able to do that anymore now that you are going to move to Florida. So what I'm not going to touch is your custody arrangement. Not going to touch that at all. This is a child support court. That has nothing to do with us, okay? So I'm not going to touch it at all. You are free to move to Florida. However, he's coming off child support. So then he can use the money, the 880 or so dollars to, that he would give you for child support, he can use that to travel to actually see the kids. But Thank what you. if he doesn't, Your Honor? Well, if he doesn't, then after some time of him not doing it consistently, and when I say consistently and consecutively, it needs to at least be about six months or something like that, I love it. right? Then you can come back and let me know, Judge, he's not exercising regularly. I need some support for these two kids, right? But absent anything like that, I believe that's in the best interest of the children. And quite frankly, that's fair. You're moving without permission, right? Yeah. Which is a violation of your court order. So it's only fair that he stops paying child support. So beyond a reduction, he's coming off child support today. Now you will have to keep maintaining the health insurance, okay? That's fine, Your Honor. All right. So that, what is it, 362? Yes, ma'am. You'll still continue to pay the health insurance, but there will be no child support. Wow, paid. that is wild. That is absolutely wild. She was really trying to move states on this man. <laughs> I wanted to pull up a video of Homath now um, about what happened to marriage. Let's get into this one. I have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? I think what you're asking is, do you want to be married? And I think that a lot of men would say, yes, I do want a partner to spend my life with. Yeah. But when you say, do you want to get married? I'm not sure if you're keeping in mind all these extra steps that come before and the possible ones after. Here's a guy living in a cardboard box with his ex-wife in his house with other men. <laughs> you have to keep in mind that happens with roughly one third of new marriages. And that's only for the men who have the opportunity to get married, which uh, is contingent upon a bunch of steps that have changed quite a bit over the years. So in order to get married, you have to date. And in order to date, you have to work and make money. And in order to work and make money, you have to go to school. And men have been facing a lot of new difficulties in all of these areas over the last few decades. So do I want to have a partner? Yes. But do I want to go through all of this again? Mm, not right now.
So you want to get married, you have to date, you want to date, you have to work, you want to work, you have to go to school. This is where a lot of male problems begin. I'm not saying that schoolgirls have it easy, but the last few decades, schoolboys have been treated like they are defective. In third grade, I used to finish my work before the other kids, and I would get up and move around, and they told me that was not okay, so they medicated me. When I got a little older, the other boys would start fights, and I went to the authorities to do the right thing, and they punished both both of us, so then I took matters into my own hands and they punished just me because of these policies. They don't let boys just fight it out anymore. Those types of policies are not setting young boys up for success. They, they punish the way that we natively look at the world. It definitely messed me up a little and that was 30 years ago and I have no idea what's going on now. When we get older and go to college, there are all kinds of things in place to help girls that are not available for boys, and they say that it's there to correct problems, but I don't think those problems exist anymore. Well, I, so, think, I think a lot more women go to college than men. I don't know the number, but I'm pretty sure the numbers are quite high when it comes to like women going to college versus men. As we are accumulating what we need to succeed in life, boys are getting uh, less of a, a head start than they used to, which is, I think, one of the contributing reasons for why they say uh, men are, they have Peter Pan syndrome and they, they never grow up. I think it starts here. When we get into the workplace, there are similar programs that benefit women and not men. And that's an issue because women want to make equal money to men, but then they also want men to make more and support them and you can't have both. Additionally, the culture has become very inhospitable towards men and again, the way that men communicate and behave. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the economy is getting pretty bad. And even though that affects everybody, men are the ones who are expected, expected to, to pay. pay. So yeah, dude, like I, I said this in a previous previous episode, it takes like two hundred thousand dollars for two people just like in a cheaper area of Texas to live a comfortable life, go on vacations, be able to buy nice things. Like not a lot of people are getting paid a two hundred thousand dollar salary. It, this puts us at an increasing disadvantage comparative to women as we age. Then when we get out into the dating world, if you don't have any money, that's going to be a problem. If you can't compete on the dating apps, which most men cannot, that's going to be a problem. If you're not okay with her having an OnlyFans or an Instagram or whatever, it's going to take some women off the table because they have so much attention. So a lot of men are playing catch up at this point in life when that didn't used to be the case. So our parents and grandparents did not have any of these problems. They just sort of grew up, got jobs, and married whoever was nearby. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought of it like, would your mother have married your father if she had Tinder? Would she have chosen him? There's stuff going Probably on. Probably not. In, in these phases of life for us that would have been unheard of even one generation ago. I uh, once had a job where I worked with a girl. We had the same job. I had more experience. We had layoffs and later she matched with me on Bumble and came to hook up. And I said, would you like to continue doing this? And she told me that I didn't have my life together enough. She was, we were living in the same place and in, in the same job market and we came from the same job and I had more experience. And she was getting 120K a year to do some like women's leadership job or something. And I was driving for Uber. So, you know, I think a lot of people are really underestimating how much easier this makes things. So then if you can actually get to this point, you as a man, you have to take everything that you've managed to put together over the course of your life and put it all on the table for someone who is probably not doing the same. Even though women are not having a hard time in the workplace, men are still generally expected to provide provide while women generally keep more of their money for themselves. We've all heard, uh, my money is my money, his money is my money. I found this great little video about that. But I just have a quick question. My husband won't see all of my accounts, right? I have like eight different bank accounts, but my husband only knows about two of them. I've just been secretly saving for years in case I ever need to. Oh, no, say no more. I don't need to see those statements. So as far as I'm concerned, they don't exist. Yeah, so I don't love the idea that wow. my wife might be hiding money. Of course, I'm not allowed to do- This is why you need to have control over all the finances of a family. The man should. That all of my money has to be on the table. And there's about a one third chance that you're gonna be taking it to party with other dudes in the house that I bought for you. Divorce laws have changed too. Y you used to need a really good reason to get divorced, but now, it can happen just because someone is not happy. Oh, yeah. They even write songs about it. Check this out. I have to mute it for copyright. I'll read it to you. Might be the only guy who didn't send me hearted eyes in reply to my latest story. 
We work well on paper, we don't argue, we don't fight, but lighting scented candles just won't relight up our fire. And right there she goes, ah, it ain't that bad, it's just not what I wanted, don't want to live this life half-hearted. Hang on, here it comes. I want fireworks and flames, don't want safe, tame, practical. That ain't enough, that ain't love. This is the squircle yeah, of it. unconsciousness. It represents how people uh, don't know how relationships work, and so they think the relationship is going to go like this, and then it turns a corner. I think she's at the dissatisfied part. You can't have everything is exciting all the time. Good choices are boring. No relationships are going to be fun the whole time. They're all going to have spots where there's no fire. But she don't want safe, tame, practical. That ain't enough. That's not even love. Look how passionate she is about dumping her husband. That's real, I can spot a faker. And she even sings about other men giving her googly eyes on her Instagram stories. So this girl is what I would call an excitement chaser. She starts out her new relationships excited, and over time gets bored when they're not chaotic, and then by the time we notice she's bored, she's already got a new guy lined up, and this has pretty nasty effects on us. So your relationship satisfaction is going to change over time, but your stability is not supposed to. That's what marriage is. That's what it's for. Even when you start feeling like things are not as fun, you have to remember that commitments are what gets you through the swings. I actually have a little theory that this takes about a year. Obviously, we get up and go to sleep with the sun, and uh, women have changes in their hormones and emotions with the moon, and I think that a year is the amount of time that it takes to uh, find somebody and have that strong emotional connection, get pregnant, and have a child. It's about one year altogether. And this girl is making a spiritual experience out of a biological process, and she's allowed to end the marriage over it. So it's not that I don't want a partner, it's just that a lot of us don't have what we need to build a partnership, and even if we get it, it could fall apart immediately. She could squircle herself into believing it's not love, and have a phone in her pocket with 1400 horny guys on it, and then I end up here. So what you've done by fighting for equality is you've basically said, hey, you want to play a game of chess? I get all queens, though. Hey, where are you going? Do you guys still want to get married? I mean, it's, it's so true, though. Shout out to Home Math on that one. The man's got great videos. Go follow his content. But I've talked about this in previous episodes. Relationships are boring. Good relationships are extremely boring. Cass and I have a strict schedule of what we do. We wake up at 5.30 a.m., we go to the gym, we eat breakfast, I work all day, she cooks, she cleans, she takes care of the house, I get off work, I record YouTube videos for two to three hours every night. You know what we do? We're in bed by 9 p.m., knocked out by 10, up at 5. It's rinse and repeat five days of the week, and then on the weekends we'll go out to eat, we'll hang out with family, we'll go do our thing, but we're not going on like lavish trips, we're trying to save a lot of money, pay off a lot of debts like school loans and things like that other things that we're you know trying to pay off like furniture for the new house like we're not really doing a lot of lavish fun things a good relationship and a thriving relationship in my opinion isn't a ton of fun there's not a lot of ups and downs they're really boring and that's where a lot of women are like well i want the excitement i want the toxicity this is what i want this is what i'm supposed to have he's supposed to make me have butterflies that's why a lot of these modern women, I say they grow old, but they never grow up. They act like children. This is what kids want. This is what this is what you did in like third and fourth grade when you picked on the girl that you really liked. That's what that is, and that's what they want. It's so sad. And then modern women have so much access to attention these days. It's like a regular schmegular woman has the same attention scale and the in the, the, the mag um, the the magnetism of a celebrity guy. Like a, a regular girl has the same pool as a celebrity guy. She can literally get on there, post a picture of herself in a bikini and like hundreds of dudes will like it even if she only has like 50 or 100 followers. Like it's absolutely insane. But a guy could be chiseled in shape, post a picture and nobody's liking it, nobody cares. And girls are getting DMs all the time. It's absolutely crazy, but that's the market that we live in. There's there's guys are know that they need to shoot their shot, which I think some guys should. I think most of us should. That's why in, in nature, a lot of the guys, uh, the, the male animals have to do the ritual. They have to do the dance or whatever to get the girl's attention. I completely understand understand that but like a lot of guys nowadays are like it's not even worth trying you have an of i could see your butthole for 4.99 <laughs> the, the value of these women have gone down it's like there's nothing left to the imagination i could literally go on and subscribe to you for 4.99 and see your entire body and it's like if you break that down five bucks over 30 days what is that like 10 or 20 cents a day for only 20 cents a day you can support a failed of girl <laughs>
<laughs> it'd be like that. It's absolutely crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Wanted to use today's episode as kind of more of a learning episode, which is why I pulled up the whole math video. But hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cop the ebook. It's in the description. The four pillars of personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I love you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.